This is Daisy Down Under with me, Jason Daisy, exploring the favorite spots in my homeland. And I've come to a place on Queensland's Sunshine Coast, which is about as Aussie as you can get. Australia Zoo, which was made famous by Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, whose family opened it in 1970. And today, the Irwin family of his widow Terry and kids, Bindi and Robert, are the current owners. Australia Zoo is well known for its amazing reptiles like saltwater crocodiles, alligator snapping turtles and the black tiger snake, but there's plenty more with all the birds and the mammals. In fact, around 1,200 animals set on 1,000 acres and nine really cool shows for visitors to watch every day. And let's not forget the adjoining wildlife hospital which cares for thousands of animals every year, 90,000 since 2004, and kicked into overdrive after the devastating Australian bushfires. Bindi Irwin, your dad left us around a decade and a half ago, but his legacy lives on 50 years now of Australia Zoo. Absolutely. Australia Zoo is a true conservation destination. And as a family, we are so proud to continue on in Dad's footsteps and make sure that his legacy lives on forever. We have so many beautiful animals just waiting for everybody to meet them. They are truly gorgeous and we're so proud to do our part in making a difference on the planet here at Australia Zoo. Thank you very much, Bindi. And if you're thinking of making a trip the two-day family pass might be the best value so you can take your time and enjoy it australia zoo is just over an hour from brisbane about two hours from the gold coast and part of queensland's beautiful sunshine coast a must visit destination for daisy down under only on money fm 89.3